Okay, let's check out this uh, PVM function in uh, Toyota Corolla. PVM actually stands for Panoramic View Monitor. So it uh, gives you 360 view around your car. Just check this out. Every time when I press the button, PVM button, you will change the angle. And one of the angle is pretty cool. This is one of my favorite. You can literally see your own car <laughs> with uh, your surrounding as well and your rear camera, front camera and this is also very cool I'm showing you 360 surrounding We will be testing out the adaptive cruise control together with the lane assist which um, in Volvo they call it autonomous driving. So in uh, Toyota Corolla what we can do is that press once for the cruise control and then just wait for the green, green colors uh, icon to appear and it will tell you that the radar is ready. Okay, this is for the adaptive cruise control which later on we are going to test test it on the highway and switch on the lane assist over here and you can see the icon in the meter appear as well and then the button on top here is actually to set the distance can you guys see the changes this is to let you set uh, how far is the distance uh, that they were set towards uh, whatever car in front of you or object in front of you so from here onwards you can adjust your speed through this uh, plus and minus over here so um, we did run it at 80 to 90 km per hour and it's still functioning but the thing is that your hand have to constantly be on the steering wheel otherwise the warning lights will come out and also pay a lot of attention because uh, whenever the radar is unable to detect the lane on the road then it will tell you that the lane assist is off that is when driver have to take over the steering wheel again this system is for convenience sake but please do not 100% depend on this technology because um, that is the reason why uh, the system kit alerting the drivers to have both of their hands on the steering we will go for a drive after this to see how effective these systems are we are now on the highway this is the best time to test the function as, as the setting just now we have gone through with you guys so the only things you have to do the radar is already ready the lane assist is already on so the only thing right now to activate the function is this button set so when everything is clear just press set and release your throttle okay if you can see my legs, I'm no longer on the throttle and it's already following the traffic in front of us and my lane assist is already activated as well but from time to time it will still warn the driver to hold on to the steering wheel but let's just test and see whether how long before the warning comes out there, the warning is already out this hole but be very careful because when the radar the radar stops detecting the lanes, it will beep wow and the driver have to 
take control of the steering wheel again but for now everything is very smooth we are following a Produa Alza in front and the steering is moving by itself yep that's a error over there after the steering wheel turned by itself and it couldn't detect the lane anymore so that beeps were actually alerting the driver to take over the steering again and we have got some traffic in front of us the brake is doing the brake is engaging on its own that slows down I'm not doing the work it's only my hand on the steering wheel right now so once we have press set just now to activate the ACC adaptive cruise control the other things that we need to adjust is the distance between our car to the car in front okay. detect and slow down so the button on top here you can actually set and you can see there will be some changes in the in the screen you can set to near or far let's set to the middle okay distance is the first things and the other things if if let's say we are not in this side of traffic we are on highway that's another thing that you have to set is the speed that you allow the cruise control to operate so we have went up to 90 kilometers per hour just now when the road is a bit more empty. For now, let's set it to maximum 80 kilometers per hour. But because it's, a, it's an adaptive cruise control, the speed right now will go according to the traffic flow. And again, hands are off from the steering wheel together with our legs I'm not on the pedals and it's driving on its own well we have the warning right now hands on the steering wheel and I'm just touching the steering wheel so that the lights will go off but so far it's driving on its own scary isn't it? no <laughs> no seriously no 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 it's quite okay right? okay but I, I got a shock just now when I first tested the, the function and suddenly it tells me that the lane assist is not functioning oh there's it's almost immediately you have to take over the steering the otherwise you'll be going off off the road but this one like this one is it it's trying to keep in the middle you know it's not yeah oh. it's trying to keep in the middle oh, it's trying to keep in the middle yeah the, I, i'm sure that the radar some of the car they only have got one some of the car they have got a few mm. a few of them so the more radar they have actually the more things that they can, can capture on the road uh, including of both sides of the lane, the object, car next to us, in front of us, and the surrounding. But it's a very useful function also for this type of traffic. If you just want to chill, leave one hand here, but always be prepared when. Should, should I go straight? Go straight. Go straight. Yeah, always be prepared in case the radar stop detecting the lanes and all these things you have to take action immediately okay, detecting very well i think for this sort of traffic is very useful highway <laughs> still have to be semi-conscious <laughs> still have to be semi-conscious but just like Volvo, you know, initially I thought that they have got sensors somewhere over here, but it's actually not sensors. You just have to put one or two fingers around your steering wheel, okay, 
and uh, I'm sure that the electronics, the electrics uh, steering, when it detects some um, resistance, it means that our hands are on the steering wheel. And, and the best thing about this system is you can override it anytime and take over. Yeah. No, no, no. You can take over anytime, even though the system is uh, the function is still on. You can just take over anytime. You can turn. Okay, make the turning, whatever you need to do. Okay, let's see. You can do this turn. Oh no 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 no! Lane, lane assist is off. Okay. Lane assist when it's not in green color, it, it means it's off. So well, luckily. <laughs> Otherwise, we could have just went into the wall already. Okay, radar is ready. Oh yeah, actually the icons also indicate that the radar have already detected this side of the lane, this side of the lane. If uh, it's not detecting, it means that it's empty. Oh. Yeah, the lane icon is empty. Mm, not bad. Uh, uh, please, uh, read the user manual first. <laughs> So, uh, since I've already applied the brakes earlier, the adaptive cruise control turn it off by itself. In order to activate back, we have to press another another time of uh, set button. So for now, inside this area, drive it like normal first. Okay, at least 40 km per hour. Radar is still not detecting yet. Can we just set? Yeah. Set can but can we take this corner? Can we take this corner? Set ready, but it's just the thing and this. Okay. When it says third, third means you have to do it yourself. So yeah, sometimes the technology is already here. But just look at our road, the lanes. Those disappear, sometimes faded, sometimes it's very clear. Go straight. So it's not just this car, it's also our road condition. Please don't gamble your life. I know some of you have uh, watched Tesla videos, you know, in US. Those fellas, they are literally sleeping with the uh, autonomous driving function on. But please don't try that. In this car or on this road. Okay, radar has already detected the left lanes, right lanes is on, press set, we are right now doing 60 km per hour, it's on again, <coughs> so always be very careful with that beep, when it beeps, it means that the lane assist is not detecting, so you better do something. Why was it dragging at such a high RPM just now? <laughs> no idea. Right? No idea. Weird. Turn right or straight straight all the way straight. All the way straight. All the way straight. Next to MPE idea. No no before MPE. So the other thing is that you will keep reminding you to hold the steering wheel. But yeah, yeah a bit scary. Scary. Okay. See so you can take this corner. Yeah, let me 
start beeping me. I have to take over. So it could be the radar, the radar, or it could be the lane. You see all these lanes are so short. <laughs> you see the mark, the marker. <laughs> Probably it's not the standard size, so that's why it's not detecting. But now it's detecting again. I'll let it drive by its own again before we have to go out. This link, correct? Let's take the display in. This is on. Okay, it's on again. Okay, let's see whether you can take this cornering in it. Wow, no. No way, no way. So, there you go. Uh, in a slow traffic or maybe cruising smoothly on the a bit more empty highways. I think I think Volvo did very well in, yeah, Volvo did well. in that in that part, but this one it's a bit. Not up to standard yet. Except okay, they have detected. Tire is really quiet. Oh, it's very quiet. 